Yo, welcome back. So let me tell you something. If you do have the TrueNAS scale, the network attached storage, right, where you keep all the videos and pictures or your fam and everything else, it would be really a crime to not have N8N installed on it. And what N8N is, it is, um, let me find a homepage, secure AI native workflow automation tool. And there's three major benefits. First of all, it's a low code application like workflow automation usually means that you need to write a lot of codes scripts which essentially work like automation right and it's not too accessible for people who are not very familiar with all of that stuff so for someone just like you and me i'm also not into writing the scripts it's basically not available but with n8n it's super easy you just grab the nodes put them in the correct order tell them what you want to do and it's again very user friendly and i'm 100 sure that you will be able to achieve your result second thing flexibility like you can do unimaginable things whatever that you need like either it's for it or sec ops or devops or sales or you can find some use cases for lead automations or as example for me so i am creating just something that i do want to try out i'm recording a videos right and i'm posting them on a youtube and uh, i also have like discord and twitter instagram tiktok whatever right anyone who creates something that have a lot of social media channels and it takes a lot of time to post everything everywhere like you create a content and then you spend like two or three hours to just let everyone know about what you made but using n8n like one of the templates that they have is that whenever you post a new video on a youtube what it's going to do is going to grab a transcript of the video so basically yeah you know what transcript is so right basically just convert everything to the text then it's going to use the open ai to analyze the transcript and summarize it in something as twitter tweet long right and then you can post it on a Twitter, on a Twitter, in a Telegram, in a Discord, you can send an email to your mailing list, you can write a post in a Patreon, you can do some crazy mat or whatever, that's absolutely up to you. And there's hundreds of different use cases. And what also important is that it is open source. So you can self host it, it's going to be 100% free, you will have the full technical functionality of automations. And it's super easy. That's what I'm about to show you in this video. But on the other hand, like if you do, um, I don't really want to say like value your time. But if you don't want to mess with it, and you don't even want to spend those 10 minutes, whatever to find out how to install it and how to maintain it, they also offer the something like a SaaS platform, I guess you can call it like that. So basically N8N in the cloud where you sign up and uh, you can choose, uh, you can start with a free trial just to play with it and, and try it out. Then I think the trial is for seven days. And then if you want to go would continue to use it, it's 20 euros per month for a pro version, it's 50 euros. And there's like quality of life improvements, three shared projects, uh, concurrent execution, admin roles, global variables, workflow history, execution search. So functional functionality wise, it's kind of the same. Those are quality of life features. And if you're an enterprise like SSO, SAML authentication and stuff like that, contact them. I'm sure you're going to find a deal. What's super important, if you have a startup, they have a special plan for you. And trust me, like as a startup, whenever time is money, right? And and it's just hustle, hustle. Uh, N8N will definitely save you a lot of time, a lot of resources, and you 100% are going to find the use case for you that N8N can easily do. But what we're doing here, we're just want to deploy it for free forever without any subscriptions, without credit cards, without sharing all the information. So if you're worried about a privacy, and for that, I'm going to use my Truna scale. And version wise, it's Electric Heal 24.10.1. Uh, and it's time for me to upgrade, but that's for, for the different times, right? Different videos. So the only thing that we need to do is open your Truna scale, go to the apps. And I already have the DocG, uh, which is for, for a Docker because Electric Heal. Um, but we need to go to Discover Apps and just search an 810. And believe it or not, it's already here. You don't need to worry about um, deploying some sort of virtual machine, uh, pay for it in a monthly price, or just spin up another bare metal box under your table 
on which you will be running an 810, you can use TrueNet Scale. I have one physical machine with a TrueNet Scale. And on top of that, I'm going to install the N8N Community Edition. So that's going to be free. How to do that? Well, just click on it, then click on the install, and then we need to fill in a couple of parameters. So application name, choose whatever you want. N8N is quite good for me. Uh, version, there's just one, 1.524. Um, I believe if you will be following this video after some months or whatever, the version might be different. Um, N8N configuration, so the time zone, uh, fill in yours. I'm sure it's better to specify the correct time zone to just to not have any issues later. Uh, Postgres image, um, choose either version 15 or 17, but caution, um, yeah, basically like once you select it, it's not going to be possible to change from 15 to 17. You'll have to drop everything. So you will need to make backup and then restore and stuff like that. So choose wisely. If you don't know what's the difference, choose the default one. Trust me, it's going to be fine. Web host stays local host database password. Well, that's something we need to fill in. Read this password and encryption key. That's that. Additional environment variables. We don't need anything. User and group configuration. These can be default. Web UI port. Well, I'm going to use the default one. Default in the in the TrueNAS scale 30109. It's not really makes any difference. You will not need to remember that. I will show you why. Um, default, default, and then data storage. Default that's going to be created automatically. I'm not going to use ACL, like I'm the only user of this system. Well, my wife as well, but yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. So no ACLs here, no labels limit wise. It's super lightweight. Like, honestly, if you're not doing some crazy stuff with a lot of concurrent automations, it's going to be perfectly fine. So I will also, at least for the beginning, leave the default limits for two CPUs and uh, uh, 4k 4 gigs of of the memory and if at some some point it's not going to be enough you can always of course increase so click install this is going to take less than five minutes um you don't need to do anything just hands up you can go grab some coffee grab some tea i will use this time to advertise uh, i don't know what my channel don't forget to click subscribe button um, you can also visit the patreon page which is available in the description it also has a free tier a lot of goodies for you and if you want to support me in any way supporting these free videos that's probably the best thing to do that but for now let's wait those additional two or three minutes to wait while N8N is installed. And there we go, the N8N is in a running state. We can see that it is utilizing 276 megs of the memory, which is perfectly fine. We can see all of the five containers that are running here, the N8N itself, Postgres database, Redis cache, Postgres upgrade already exited, and permissions also exited. So this is the beauty of uh, Docker instead of uh, Helm charts of Kubernetes, right? And there's this option if you want to just click click install done and if you want to have some a bit more over complicated setup and have some different uh, different variables different functionality different setup you can just use the doc g and uh, i will go here so use compose file and basically create your own docker compose file for the n8n and run it this way that's also going to be perfectly fine but if you're for the simplicity then do the way as it showed you. And why I said it's not going to be important to remember the port that you choose for the web UI, because there's web UI button here. So open your TrueNAS scale, go to the app, select an 10 click web UI. It's going to forward you to the first time admin configuration wizard where you need to provide the email. And uh, my recommendation is to provide the correct email. First name, I'm um, going to be just Dmitry Lambert and password figure something out and I don't want to receive any security and product updates. So click next and customize and it into you like I don't really need this and get get paid features for free and forever. That's what I'm going to do. Send me a free license key. And so just don't forget it will going to send it to the email. Just click here. This will be the prompt where you will, where you will need to enter it. And now let me just go back to my email they immediately send you the email which you're gonna have the activation key copy paste 
enter activation key, activation key, activate, and license is activated. Your registered community edition has been successfully activated. So basically, it's not like the license for some functionality or whatever. It's basically just the registration of DAP. So they probably do care to collect the analytic data, who, how many um, use their tool even in the community edition, right? And that's it. You're good to go. You have your own N8N installation on the TrueNest scale. So you can start from the scratch or you can test a ready to go AI agent example, or you can just go to the templates and choose from 1,299 templates. And the list is growing dramatically because they have an amazing community of people who share what they create. So we can just search, let's say for the YouTube AI powered YouTube video summarization analysis. And again, like you might be looking on this and thinking like, yeah, nice, but how do I actually get it into my installation, which is empty? It's super easy. You just click use workflow. And as you can see, I have one previous installation, but we have 30109. So just import the template to this self hosted instance that's going to open a new tab. And what we need to do, since this is using YouTube, OpenAI and Telegram, we need to create accounts for those. So we'll have to provide the API tokens for the YouTube, same for OpenAI and same for the Telegram. And again, if you don't know how to do that, don't worry, N8N got you covered. So create a new YouTube credentials. Okay, but uh, wait, uh, I don't know how to do that. Need help filling out these fields, these fields, open docs, and here are the ways. So how you can get the O2 for single service, generic service account, Google Palm and Gemini. So all of the stuff, how you can do that, how you can get it, you're going to find exactly the same for OpenAI and a Telegram. So it's straightforward. Don't wait any additional minutes. If you have a true scale, just go and install N8N and try it out. It's going to save a lot of time for you and you will not be sorry for trying it out. So thank you for watching. Smash the subscribe button. See you later.